Eventually, China's achievements would become known to the whole world, yet the people behind them would remain anonymous. Such was the path taken by the numerous researchers and scientists who participated in the nuclear weapons project. Nuclear physicist Deng Jiaxian was the first to be ordered to the experimental base. Leaving behind a family photograph at his home, he simply vanished. That year, he was just 34. On the night he said goodbye to his wife, he told her, I'm dedicating myself to a job I have to do. This will be the event that will give my life meaning. It was August 1958 when Deng Jiaxian arrived at the experimental base in the Gobi Desert. He'd set out from home without leaving a mailing address. His wife spent the following years not knowing where he was or what he was doing. In a secret room, using just slide rules, Dung and his team ran repeated calculations on the key data for the atomic bomb detonation. In this way, they worked out the theoretical design. However, Dung suffered an accident that would cause severe damage to his health. During an experiment, he neglected to wear protective gear. Several years later, his condition became terminal. In June 1986, the hospital where Dung was being cared for reported that he was on the point of dying. Out of respect, the Central Military Commission declassified the reports on his work. The country's major newspapers carried his story on their front pages under headlines that described him as the father of China's A and H bombs. This was how his silent contribution, lasting 28 years, was honored. 